Welcome to MTG Orange. What better way can I introduce a deck other than to just show it going off? Oh my god. Okay. Alright. We have Fire Emancipation. Plenty of mana. Unleash Fury to double power and Embercleave to double strike. And a Sundering Stroke is a completely total backup. But right now what we're going to do is swing with the Bone Crusher. Let's see if he chooses any blockers. I don't know. It's only triple damage. No, no big deal. But what if it has trample? Oh no. Triple damage and trample. Oh, that's a big deal. What about triple damage and double power and trample? And I don't care if it does two damage to me. Oh, it did triple damage to me. Oh god. <laughs> that almost killed me. We're about to hit this guy so hard. He's already at negative four from the first hit. The double strike didn't even get to connect. Okay. So... What we're playing here is kind of a weird rogue deck. You know how I like my weird rogue decks. The Cyclone deck I did a while back. I wanted to make it even cooler. I wanted to make it even bigger. I wanted to make it even more try to kill you on turn two or three. Two. No, it's not going to happen on turn two. Turn three. No. Four. I guess turn four is probably possible. The Cyclone. We've got a few cheap cyclers, and the only thing they do is they cycle into big boys or draw you a card early game. I have one cycling artifact, and it can cycle into a Nyx Lotus or a uh, Embercleave. So it's kind of a nice trick there. And we've got one repeated reverb. Basically, uh, let's see what else do we got in here that's super cool. Oh, Iron Crag Feet. So we want to get a big turn where we just absolutely smash someone. Is basically what we're gonna do and if we cycle an unpredictable cyclone while we already have one out what we get is a fiery pants yeah fire pants that's what I'm just gonna call this card from now on is fiery pants even though it has nothing to do with pants it's just I don't want to say the word emancipation all the time I'd rather just say fiery pants you with me on the fiery pants crew all right well cool Let's see if we can get some of our cool combo off like we did right on that intro where you got to see so much damage. Oh my god, that was like 40 damage. That was some some nuts. Like, how does, how does anyone survive 40 damage trample coming at you? I'm going to drop this mine first because I don't want to deal with it later. Although, it's really good. These mines are so good with Luka. So good. To be able to drop Luka in, the, in a mine... Same turn, yes, Luca is in the deck. Um, what am I drawing? More of these? What are you doing to me, game? I'll play the Embrith. I don't know why the Embrith and not the Mountain. I don't know. I just, I, I just need to be able to cycle, basically, but... I was considering maybe I should have more of these Gopher Bloods in here. They're actually pretty good. Yeah, he's just doing it. He's just going for it right off. Try to get it to come in. So if that happens, it comes in from the yard, he gets a big old demon. Alright, it's kind of worrisome, but... I've got big creatures too, so it's not it's not my worst fear or anything, you know? Let's read this carefully. If it entered from your graveyard, exile, get a demon. Okay. So we got to have a way to deal with that big 5-5 five, five flyer. Ooh, little kitty cat. Meow. Come at me! Think you're gonna think you're gonna buff it up? Well, I've got something to say to that, and it's called stop. No buff for you. All right, now we'll go ahead and get smacked by this archfiend. He needs to pay two and draw a card, which is actually really good for him right now. All right. Well, we're gonna this dwarven mine. They're trolling me this game. All right, let's see. What can we do here? He wants us to block, so that's not helpful. We want to... S Whatever. Let's just let him have his turn. Everything's instant, except for the Bone Crusher, so... We'll just... Do it to He's got another Pride Mate. Alright, I figured as much. We're just going to keep slowing him down until we get our big Wombo. Oh, look at all that stuff procking. Oh, I'm sorry about that. That's just unfortunate, man. You know? It's just unfortunate. You have to deal with all these stomps. 
Pretty sure those are the only two in my deck. Maybe there's three, I forget. Damage can't be prevented this turn. I always forget about that additional effect. It's pretty handy to know though. Maybe I should cycle this go for blood. I'm trying to save it for when he gets inevitably gets that demon out. And I need to do something about it. Let's go ahead and play the cyclone. I think it's time, guys. It's time to get the cyclone going. Call the studios in Hollywood. Twister 4 confirmed. I don't even know what they're up to in that movie, but they've become worse and worse over time, as all sequels do. Oh, he's going to despark it. Hmm, interesting. Well, dang. It's actually quite effective. I was really hoping to get some, some good times out of that. What does this make me do? Discards a card. I gotta discard a card. Well, obviously I'm discarding the... This is actually a really tough choice. I guess I get rid of Electric Dominance. No, that was stupid. There's no good choice here. They're all bad choices. I guess Godzilla would have been it. If anything. Um... Risk it? Yeah, we risk it. We're going for that delicious land. Come on, land. That's not land. Alright, we'll play the Bone Crusher. We'll let him keep taking turns. He's not exactly going hyper or anything, so we're not in that much danger, but he could suddenly do something crazy. I just need to keep drawing land. If I can draw a land for like two or three draws, I should be able to do something crazy that hopefully he can't handle. He's got no cards left in his hand. Okay, we're in business. We just, just gotta survive. Gotta not have anything terrible bad happen for like two seconds. That's an Nyx Lotus that helps, but it's not quite good enough. We're gonna pass. I really should just attack. Oh, he's gonna he drew a bunch of cards off Donna Hope. That's really bad for us. We're kind of screwed. It's just too little, too late. Maybe we'll see. I'll play it out. Of course, I'll play it out. I don't go down lightly. You gotta cycle him four more times. Okay, yeah, that's right. He's gonna gain the life all the cards. Oh, this is really hurting. This is really hurting. The draw on the cards is what's hurting, because you know he's just getting removal, more creatures, or whatever he wants. Meanwhile, I drew a Dranith freaking stinger. We're gonna play this. Get the Nyx Lotus buffed. And buff more. And then I think we can. Hmm. Do we play the stinger? Or do we cycle it? I think we cycle it, actually. We need something different. He's not very effective. Oh, that one damage does turn into three. That's actually quite effective. Okay. Meanwhile, our opponent's just getting a chance to run away with the game because we're doing absolutely nothing for days here. Absolutely nothing. I'm honestly really surprised I'm not dead yet. Given how slow my start has been. Yeah, I just gotta take it. Again, you draw your two cards a turn. Oh, that's so good. I wish I had a way to get rid of that. There's just nothing in this deck. Maybe I should put some blast zones, but that would just mess things up more. Oh, there's a double strike. It's not really helpful right now, though. Let's just play Dracoseth. Maybe we can get a kill in with him soon. Yeah, we'll play this guy. Yeah, we'll play this guy. Just cause he's gonna he's gonna do a little bit of damage. But I think we've got our opponent. No, oh, he's got removal. Look at the cards in his hand. Oh my god. If he doesn't have removal, he's learned how to build his deck better. Cause how do you not have removal when you've drew half your deck? Where's your other D Sparks? Don't tell me you just drew like seven boot nippers. Because if so, 
Welcome to the suck. <laughs> oh, he's got Kaya's Wrath here. So we definitely want to block as much as we can. We'll block here, we'll block here, and we'll block... That's all we can block. No one, no one with reach. I wish they had reach. Yeah, that's fine. Take the damage. Take the Kaya's Wrath. Oh wait, let's see what he does here. Gets his demon. It's not gonna matter though if he Kaya's Wrath, so... I'm, I'm a little confused here. I guess he's... Okay, I see what he's doing. If he Kaya's Wrath, and then he has a whole handful of creatures, he can just swarm the board after his Wrath and it's over for me. Yeah, that's a decent play. He's got four mana left, just for it. Oh, what's this? He's a noob? He's a noob, you say? A big old noob. <laughs> okay, yeah, we discard that. That's fine. See, he now he only has three mana, so he doesn't have Kaya's Wrath. And uh, Dragoseth with Torbran is an absolute destructive monster of doom and whatever else you want to say. That's, that doesn't matter at all. <laughs> it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> What's this guy doing? Oh, and we've got a Sundering Stroke. And we've got nine man. Oh my god, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. This turn is about to explode into such monumental, absolute nonsense. Okay, first we swing with all. And if he... Okay, four, which is actually six, five, and five. He's got one potential blocker. Okay, you see what I can do, guys? I can repeated reverb Sundering Stroke. That's 21 damage. Right there. So, your health means nothing. Your health means nothing to me when I do this much damage in one turn. You're luckily, I didn't draw all the fiery pants. Oh, yeah, just seven here, seven here, seven there, seven there. That's good enough. Submit. Oh, extra copies. Oh, neat. How about seven there, seven there. Submit. Seven there, seven there. Submit. Can we keep going? Alright. Oh, the copies don't get the mana spent bonus. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's uh, something to consider. I didn't really realize that, but... So I should just submit it all to the face, but still pretty cool. I just, I just love these explosive turns. Just out of nowhere, the guy went from 35 health to no chance. He should have played his Chaos Wrath. I don't know why he didn't. He was setting up for it, and then he just didn't. So I was, I'm a little confused by what happened there, to be honest. Maybe he was hoping to draw it and didn't draw it. But uh, yeah, we'll take it. That was that was cool. And to think that he killed our uh, unpredictable cyclone with his one removal spell. I'm surprised he didn't have any other removal. Alright, well, next game, next fun times. Bonecrusher Giant is, you know, he's proven to be something that really allows the game to be held up to a late game phase. So, super cool. I'm definitely going to cycle these. I don't even have mana. It's like... If you get these early game, you have to cycle them unless you have enough mana to definitely play them. Okay, we're getting close though. Now I'm considering maybe I shouldn't play them. Maybe I should just drop this Bone Crusher to hold off the, the flood and create some threats. As much as I like to use his stomp first, also just getting a 4-3 on turn 3 is you know something that puts a lot of pressure on the board and can sway the game in your favor. So sometimes it's worth just dropping him, I think. Dropping him onto the board. The enemy wizard must die. What's this guy doing? We got another. What is he? He's playing Golgari Guildgate and Rugged Highlands. Get you some shock lands, man. What is this kind of deck you playing? Now we've got the fiery pants. All right, fiery pants is good and all, but we got a small problem of not being able to play the cyclone yet. So I think I have to cycle it. Uh, I hate to cycle it, but I really don't have a choice. 
Now I considered doing the Electro Dominance on this Living Twister after he blocked. If I went for that whole trick, but is that really how I want to spend my one Electro Dominance when I have a Fiery Pants in my hand? And uh, Luca? I don't know about Luca right now. He's okay, I guess. I just need mana, so I'm going to cycle the Cyclone. Oh, he played another Guild Gate. What on earth is your deck, man? Come on. You could at least play Cat Oven. The cards are all common and uncommon. It's easy. Alright. Cycling the Cyclone as much as we don't want to. We got two of them in the yard now. Oh, in the land. Yeah, that's what we needed. Ooh, the Football Crater. This is a one odd off in the deck because you can cycle it to get an enchantment, which turns into the Fiery Pants or the another Cyclone. So that's why that's in here. Um, but today, we're just going to go with a little Luka action. Do I negative him down and get rid of my Giant? Or do I plus him up? I think I'm just going to plus him up. Not gonna play anything, obviously, but we'll see what we get for later. Kinda like drawing extra cards. Ooh, Godzilla. My ah, there's my friend Godzilla. However, I can't cast it or cycle it from here. So it's actually kinda useless over here. Oh no, I got one of these guys. Is this just the time of day? Is this the time of day I'm playing where these ropers are just common? I don't know. I wonder sometimes. I wonder. Quick question for you guys. If I were to do live streams of my Magic the Gathering playing, would you watch? Because I'm considering doing it either on YouTube or Twitch, but I don't really want to mess with it per se, because it's a whole other frustrating thing, but... Hey, if you guys that watch the channel would watch there, maybe I'll do some special events or something. And rather than making a long-form video of me opening, opening up box or something one day, I'll just stream it. And same with, like, doing drafts and stuff. It's lava coiling. Alright, whatever. Least of my concerns. Now not the least of my concerns. All right, well, there's a Cyclone. That's kind of what we need. Now we just need mana. We're gonna plus him up, hope he survives. The goal here really is to just make it so my opponent has to spend more resources on killing Luca, because Luca's, he's, he's, he's done, for sure, at this point. What do we get? We got three lands. I need those lands. Give me those lands. And now if I cycle this football crater, the only enchantment left in the deck is another Cyclone. So it's actually going to mill my deck into the ground. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't have anything else to cycle, though. It's kind of unfortunate. Hopefully I draw something to cycle. I think we're just dead at this point, honestly. We've had just a weak, weak start of just, like, missing land drops. Even throughout the cycling, we've still missed land drops. Come on, just do your... Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You can... You can't... You're not killing Luca? Who are you? Oh, he's gonna mentor it, I see. Big brain. 400 IQ. Plays. Oh my god, I drew a go. Okay, this isn't actually that bad. Check this out, guys. Wanna see something cool? Neat! <laughs> I love this deck. I love it so much. Oh, how much help this discard your hand to does damage? Uh, I think we should kind of kill her, but I also want to kill the Living Twister because I don't have any other good ways to kill the Living Twister. Let's just do it. Let's just kill her. Get out of here, lady. We'll play the Footfall Crater. Sure. Like I said, I don't want to cycle this because it will mill my entire deck getting that last unpredictable cyclone. Because I, I wish I didn't have the fiery pants in my hand, actually. It would be so good if I didn't. But uh, maybe it can give Dracosuth uh, haste or something later. I don't know. We'll see. Hopefully it'll come in handy. I'm a little worried. Our opponent has a lot of cards in hand. And we've just burned through a lot of stuff doing a whole bunch of not much. 
but it appears he's out of gas because he's going to second main. Still hasn't used any mail. Okay, he's not out of gas. There's the other cyclone too. What are the odds? What are the let's just mill ourselves out. See ya. <laughs> oh, they go back? My bad. I didn't read this totally. Put the um, back in a random order. Okay, so it essentially shuffles your deck. Um, that's still funny, but we're also very dead. So, okay. I thought they went into exile permanently. I should have read that better, but uh, not that it matters. Lesson learned. What do we need to change about this tech? I almost feel like I need yet another enchantment in here because there's just a lot of en cycloning to enchantment capability. Let's see what we got in the red enchantment. Enchantment stuff. We do have escape velocity. I'd rather have something with maybe cycling. Is there anything good? Underworld Breach. Oh, oh, this is it. This is the card. Each non-land card in your graveyard has escape. Escape cost. Oh, plus we got to... Okay, yeah, this is it. We can rebomb a turn with this. And it's an enchantment that we can cycle to. We could also do Furious Rise, which is not bad with our deck. We've got a lot of stuff that can make it proc. Hmm, well... We are going to take out... Oh, we got to leave in the Footfall Crater. It does have cycling. Kind of got to leave in these little cyclers. This Unleashed Fury is just so good with Double Strike and Fire Emancipation and stuff. I feel like it's going to be an ender. And if we can ult Luka and double something's power, it's also really good. This is actually a really tough choice. What to take out? I almost feel like I take out one of the Godzillas... Or maybe one of the Storm's Wrath. Storm's Wrath is really good, though. It is clutch in, like, 90% of games. Maybe we take out one Cyclone. Maybe four is too many. But they have Cycling. How's it too many when they have Cycling? Same with Godzilla. So we got to take out something that doesn't have Cycling that there's maybe multiple copies of. And I guess that's Storm's Wrath. Luke is kind of clutch, too, but maybe we'll go with three of him as well. And that way we can get a Furious Rise, and we can get this Underworld Breach. And our deck will become a whole new animal. And a deck like this, where you can cycle something and get whatever card you want, those one-offs can make a big difference in the in the construction, or if you can tutor them up, which this is essentially what that, this is. It's sort of, it's gamble tutoring, because you're not necessarily going to get the thing you, you're going to get, but if you know the deck really well, you can predict it, predict it pretty well, and oh my god, this this is terrible. This is a really bad hand. This is a really not keep hand, but I'm keeping it. We're gonna see what he does. You go ahead. I've got, oh, okay. I was thinking maybe I had a way to kill it, but actually I don't. I could have killed it with intervention, but it doesn't seem worth it. More Zillas. We're going to play this thing. Because we are ramping today. It's my one cycling artifact. But I don't have the cyclone in my hand anyway, so I'm not too worried about it. I'd rather get the ramp with this particular start and get up and go. I have a feeling he's sitting on a counter. So what do I want least to be countered? Probably the fire pants. Oh. Fire Pants with uh, Storm's Wrath. That was a little bit of joy right there. A little bit of extra slammy damage. Staggering Insight. I was kind of hoping he wouldn't do that. But also, it's not the worst. Because now he can't counter. I have a turn where he has no counter. There's the Furious Rise. But obviously what we really want to do here is just... Cast the Wrath, walk away. Wrath Quando. Does this card make people rage? Is it like a rage? Oh my god, are you serious? He's banishing away my crystal? 
How desperate of a play is that? Oh, wow. That is just desperation maximus. We're just going to drop this giant. Like I was talking about last match, sometimes you just want to play him, and if he doesn't kill it, then I can Furious Rise next turn and start getting some bonus cards. I would love some bonus cards. Watcher of the giant text box. What does this do? Flying creatures you cast flying cost one last one other creature with the enters the battlefield plus one okay. And a turn. A little buffy buff. Scruffy buffy. Alright, so that's kinda dangerous, but we wanna just draw cards here at this point. Yeah, give us give us some cards, please. Okay, so we got a mountain. Can't play it though, because this happens at the end of turn. So we're just going to chill for a second, and we'll play them out later. I do have the damage in hand to kill his creatures, but now he's all worried about this Furious Rise like it's something serious. He seems very confused about this whole setup, which I get it. I don't play decks in the meta. You can't read me very well because you don't actually know what I'm going to do. Yes, I'm not Team or Wreck, or the same life game deck. I am totally aware of this. Play this land. Well, it's times like these, uh, we just blast some things down. I've definitely got to kill this, but how do I do it? I can dominance for three, and then drop another giant, or I could perforos for two, and then do another... Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Twice X damage, yes. So we'll do two. That'll leave us with how much mana? Two mana left. Okay, just making sure. Just making sure. We wanna get this right. So all I'm gonna do is cast this. We need to preserve our health total. It doesn't matter what his health is. Let's be honest here. He is getting destroyed no matter what his life total is, because you know how this deck is. Suddenly, one turn, I'm just going to explode and do like 50 damage. So, I don't really care what his life total is. He can heal with those healer's hawks all day. I'm not trying to whittle you down with shocks and lightning bolts and little weak crap like that. But I've got coming for you one day is some fiery pants. Banishing light. <laughs> oh my god, he's, this poor guy. He's getting cards that don't matter. I almost feel bad, but then, but then I don't, because should have saved your banishing light. You know, just a thought. You know, maybe, maybe save your banishing light next time for things other than mana crystals. You fool, derp! Holy crap, man! Sorry to make fun of you, but banishing light and a mana crystal is definitely full derp. There's no doubt about that. If he had a reason, I could understand it, but there didn't seem to be a reason. He was just full derpin. Okay, here's... It's over, obviously. I just, I just want to have a little fun here. Well, block this Bone Crusher Giant. Too bad! Because he's got... <laughs> double strike and triple damage. Take 15. No, 12, whatever. Take another 15, okay. There it is. That was nearly 30 damage. I think it would have been 26 in one turn. So, there you go. How are you guys liking this deck so far? I feel like it's had quite a show. I've also played against a whole bunch of derps, so that's really working to my advantage too. I'm going to end the video here. It's just been really fun playing this Cyclone deck. We've got to see some really nice procs. Didn't really get to see the Cyclone go off. Uh, actually, we did once. We got the cycle. What was it? We cycled. We cycled this go for blood, and got a clutch storm's wrath. We didn't get to see the iron crag feet. I want to see this iron crag feet with re repeated. Okay, just think of this: repeated reverb, iron crag feet, into perforous intervention, or uh, electro dominance, and then just boom. You can hit someone for like 20, 30 with just this spell alone. Because you've got, uh, what, seven times 
three mana, 21 mana. So you can hit him for 20 alone with that. And well, Iron Craig Feet says you can only cast one more spell, so that would be the one last spell. But what it doesn't say is that you can't use this mana for other stuff. So I could use this mana to cycle. I guess just to cycle. That's all there is. There's just a bunch of cycling. To activate my Bonders Enclave. All right. Well, that's not the point. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate all of you who watch my videos, and I hope I'm able to keep you entertained. It is really quite a privilege to be in my position although it's not the greatest right now because i only have like 50 subscribers but you know one day i'll feel like i'm in a great position so i'm i'm kind of uh preemptively trying to feel that so i don't get too discouraged yada yada i don't know it's it's a it's a whole mind game to get yourself to produce videos sometimes and uh leave a like to support the channel maybe a comment whatever you want i'll see you in the next one peace out guys